Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the final episode of my FL Sun Super Racer upgrade series. I have finished all of the effector mods that I wanted to do on this printer, so we'll talk about those in just a little bit here. I've been doing some test prints too to see how the printer's actually taken the upgrades and that type of thing. So, again, overall, very happy with the printer. I really like the printer much more now that it has probably what should have come, how it should have came out of the box with direct drive and a dual 5015 fans. So in the previous video, we set up the Crowdy Sonic pad and this is now running Clipper, which is in my opinion, much better. We have full Wi-Fi printing. I don't need to use the SD card anymore, that type of thing. So that was a huge help. And then the main goals for this printer were I want to get direct drive on this printer. I want to get better cooling. And I did want to upgrade to a CHC hot end. However, for this particular printer, it would have taken too much modifications to the effector. And I do plan on just selling this printer. So I didn't want to heavily like hack this printer up. Um, that'll be up to the new owner type thing if they want to go any farther. Um, I'm like I say, I'm very happy with how it is right now. It's working great and it kind of solved all the issues that I had. So this is an effector I uh, picked up off Thingiverse. I chose this, or I shouldn't say effector, um, this mod was one I found on Thingiverse. And the thing I liked about it the most was it didn't modify the stock hot end. Some of the mods cut the hot end in half or they, they do some kind of uh, real modifications to the hot end whether it's cutting it to be shorter or something like that, I wanted this to be reversible, essentially. And that's because I'm, I'm planning on selling it, like I say. So what this mod does is essentially it moved the fan to the front. So the cooling fan on the stock Super Racer is on the rear. It moved the hot end cooling fan on the front, which is much better if you're looking at the printer head on. It's not blowing air at your face, which is nice. And then this actually supports the LGX light direct drive extruder. The LGX light is nice because it's symmetrical. The motor doesn't stick out to either side, so there's plenty of room for the 5015 cooling fans. So you can see here I have dual 5015s on here. Very, very easy mod to do. Basically, I printed out a few uh, parts in ABS and it all bolted up to the stock metal effector. I didn't want to print out like a plastic effector because uh, in my opinion that might have been a downgrade. I wanted to keep the metal one. And if anyone's going to be doing this mod, I do recommend getting GDS Time 5015 fans. I'm running two 24 volt ones here and the cooling is massively improved. Um, so much more air coming out of the ducts. I also actually found some upgraded cooling ducts for the printer as well. The cooling ducts on the stock FL Sun, they kind of point to the nozzle more than the actual part. So I actually found some ducts on, I think, Cults. And I'll link all this stuff below. I will link the effector mod and I will link the cooling ducts in the description below. So um, huge improvement. My retraction is much smaller. I think I went to five millimeters of retraction down to one millimeter. Um, it can retract faster and I can now tune in pressure advance. Before um, the Bowden was just too long to actually get good pressure advance results and that's completely been fixed now with the direct drive setup. So very, very happy, very reversible modification, which again, I was going for. So in the previous videos, you can see here, this was my Marlin. This is my stock Marlin print. This is how this printer came out of the box. Now, some of these um, blobs that you see here are due to an issue with Cura, as far as I can tell. So we convert this over to Clipper using the Sonic Pad because that's what I had laying around. You can see it definitely did clean it up a little bit. Um, mainly the ringing is gone. And then what I did was I started printing out in a bit better PLA so you could see so we can still see here we have a little bit of blobbing um, 
Much better than the green filament though, it's easier to see certainly. There was a little bit of cooling issues on the bow, not too bad. But that's kind of the result we were getting. This was with an older version of Kira 5.2.2 and that's, you can see it fixed a lot of that blobbing, which the newest version Kira has an issue. And then this was Kira 5.3. You can see the problems with the newest version of Kira. Look at all the um, blobs and stuff. The seam is really messed up in the newest version of Kira. So anyone running Kira, 5.3 and 5.3.1 is not working correctly on this, it seems. So after all of the upgrades and tuning and stuff like that, um, this is the result that we're getting now. As you can see, it's pretty much flawless. Very happy with this. Very clean benchy. I probably can start dialing in my pressure advance a little bit more, but um, really nice and clean. I'm pretty sure I could actually go a little bit faster. You can see the bow on this is perfect. The cooling is absolutely excellent. So huge upgrade on that. Very, very minor, like I say, I actually still have the filament runout sensor you can see here. I uh, 3D printed an adapter so you can still use the filament, filament runout. The BMG would have like hung down here. All that's been removed. So yeah, I've basically turned the FL Sun SR into what it should have been from the factory. This in my opinion is probably the first stage for anyone when they get this printer is to do these mods. Um, this is meant to be a very fast printer and it should have really good cooling and definitely should have direct drive if you're going to be doing um, speedy prints. You don't want to have huge retractions like five or six millimeters. Like I say, we're down to one millimeter retraction right now. So that's kind of the wrap up everyone on the FL Sun. There's going to be some more videos here coming on Deltas. Don't worry, even though we're done the FL Sun one. Um, Deltas are still going to be part of the channel. I'm just going to start focusing now on my Fortress build. So, Thanks again everyone for watching. Definitely like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.